Ready. Go. Stand and reset. And go. Stand and reset. And re relax real quick. So, Anthony, I want to make sure we're talking about this. This is the first time we've, talked, we've gone through a really dynamic movement, right? And Boz talked about two different things. There's seeing static faults and seeing dynamic stuff. Most of the stuff we've talked about so far has been fairly static, except for stuff like the bar path and the deadlift and those kind of things. This is the most dynamic thing we've talked about so far. So when we're going through seeing this stuff, really have a plan of checking static positions for the group as they're holding those static positions. But when we actually go to a dynamic thing, it's got to be the one person in front of you. One of the big things we see uh, a lot of coaches, especially early on, is when they are trying to see dynamic faults like this, it'll be go, and they try to kind of catch the whole group all at once. And it's just there's way too much going on, way too fast to happen. So it's ready, guys, set up. And I check the group to make sure they're set up. I, I like you're trying to move, but I'm, yeah. Um, and then I'm watching Wolf when I say go, so I can see if he's extending his hip or pushing earlier, those kind of things. And then I can check the group again when we go down to the, the catch position. Right? There's our static fault again that we might be catching. I'll have him stand up and reset, and then I go back to watching one person when we move again. Does that make sense? Here you go. OK, all right. Ready, guys, rack positions, please. So right now I can scan the group and check them. And now I'm watching Wolf. Go! Stand and reset. And again, now I can scan the group for static positions. And now I'm watching Wolf. Go! Stand and reset. Right. And now I'm watching the group. Now I'm watching just Anthony. And go! And now I'm watching the group again. I can check them. Stand and reset. And again, ready. Go! And then stand and reset. We get the idea? 